Only 13% of Americans in October say that they approve of the job Congress is doing. That would be the men and women that we elect to represent us and send off right here to Washington, D.C. That leaves a huge 81% of Americans who say they disapprove of the job Congress is doing. That 13% approval, by the way, is tied for the lowest in Gallup history. Sometimes we get tired of pointing out just how negative Americans are about their government, but this Congress approval measure is certainly one clear indicator of it. It's been 13% a couple of other points in time, and again, that's as low as it's ever gotten. Even before the 2010 congressional midterm elections last year in October, approval of Congress was slightly higher than it is now, and you saw the result there with a big turnover in the House as Americans swept out Democrats and put Republicans back in. The question is, politically, if Congress approval stays this low, will we see a similar turnover come the election next year? That is 2012. We'll have to wait and see. Clearly, the economy is driving part of this very low approval rating for Congress. We can look back in time and find a couple of other points where Americans were really depressed and negative about the economy. That would be 1979 when Jimmy Carter was president, and then back to 1992 when George H.W. Bush was president. And in these instances, Gallup didn't measure Congress approval very frequently, but the couple of times we did found Congress job approval in the teens, but still not as low then as it is now by a few points. The ominous point of all this for the Obama administration, of course, is that Jimmy Carter was thrown out of office in the 1980 election, and, of course, George H.W. Bush was thrown out of office in the 1992 election, times when generalized approval for things here in Washington was low. We'll have to wait and see what this means, not only for President Obama next year, but, as I mentioned, what it will mean for the congressional and senatorial elections in November of 2012. That's an update on what Americans are thinking about their elected representatives here in the nation's capital. Not too much. That is not too much on the positive side of the ledger. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Gallup Editor-in-Chief.